see the beauty of analysis yesterday i asked you to sell it 88.2 and below that you can expect a good drop see 84.5 perfectly achieving the stronger support levels and this zone is very very important for your screw to sustain 84 84.5 below that a good drop can be expected let's see what to expect today at the same time ng has achieved 6.2 we ask you to remain long and see what beautifully it has achieved i hope you all profited now what to expect today which position we should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit so do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon let's start first we'll look into your screw followed with ng do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and note down the level now see ng uh your screw has come back to the stronger support zone this zone is very very important for your screw to sustain and also if you look at it, it is giving you higher lows here possibility of it to bounce back from here again exists forming double bottom almost we have to look forward to a good entry now see 85.5 should be a very good entry for you to stay long beyond that 86.2 87 and then 87.5 you have to wait for this now see it is still in a consolidation phase if you look at the early charts you'll find lower highs higher lows are seen and then 88 and 84 levels should be a good trading zone for it let's see further in detail directional movement is bearish here the stock is trading oversold there is a possibility of for it to rise the magd has seen the bottom it is see what we had seen earlier here it is replicating the same we can see a conversion crossover here the rsi is also trading oversold and hence we can possibly expect a little rise from here now look at the two hour charts likewise on the two hour charts if you find it has erased the gains it has come back to the support levels only below 84 i will recommend you to sell beyond 84 uh, 85.5 there is a possibility for rise exist hence till 84 i will not recommend you to sell oil but yes i will recommend you to buy if you see it trading above 85.5 where you can expect 86.2 87 and then further levels still towards 87.5 88.2 can be seen directional movement moderately bearish here the stock is trading extremely oversold and hence which also indicates that there is a possibility for it to rise the MACD is willing to converge again the RSI is trading at the bottom and near to oversold levels and if you look at the 3R charts on the 3R chart on the 3R charts look at couple of green candles but it also uh, indicates that this should be a minor retracement if it is bearish it will take a sharp dip again sharp plunge again hence only bullish confirmation is above 85.5 beyond that you can expect 86.2 87 87.5 at the same time i will only recommend you to sell oil below 84 below 84 there could be a good drop which might be seen 83.5 82.4 and 82 levels cannot be denied directional movement is bullish bearish here the stock stick is extremely oversold the MACD is divergent and bearish here the rsi is trading at bottom so MACD, if it tries to converge from here possibility of a rise exists and if you look at the 4 hour chart see it is still trying to trade in this box and yes these are good support zones here at 84 levels in which we should respect which should be respected let's see if it does i will look forward to a little rise if it continues to trade above 85.2 85.5 zone directional movement is bearish stock stick is extremely oversold here if it converges from here possibly a rise cannot be denied but look at the bank d this is just three candles away this is divergent and this is bearish indicating for a little drop the rsi is trading at the bottom there now look at the daily charts and if you look at the daily charts you will find uh, around 50 period moving average and the median of the bollinger bands it is trading and see there is a good drop after a couple of retracement candles again a drop since also this is the first in the series candle which indicates that the second candle may arrive which might take it further lower till towards 82 80 level there is a possibility that it is trying to reverse from here why i am saying so see almost double top is done and now it is reversing hence it can try to achieve this zone before it looks forward to any further drop any further rise so this is one probability but this is only possible if it continues to trade up below 83 levels and hence we need to remain cautious there the directional movement on the daily charts is bearish the stock stick has come out of the bottom but trading comfortable MACD is divergent and bearish here and if you look at the rsi this is looking downwards considering this you can sell there at 84.5 uh, i will recommend you to rather take a short position at 84.2 
and buy at 85.2 in between these one dollar let's not take a position below 84.2 you can expect a little draw for 83.5 82.4 82 82 is going to remain a good support below 82 certainly you can expect further more drop on the upside buy at 85.85.2 uh, but remember 85.5 also may give a little resistance beyond that 86.2 87 87.5 88 levels to be seen so buy at 85.2 sell at 84.2 do not trade for this one dollar take your positions accordingly and yes, before we proceed for NG, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, taking right entries and right exits at the right time, you can join my mentorship batch. The last batch for this year, 2022, is going to start on 28th of November. Only if limited seats are available, book your seats now, so that at the last moment rush you can avoid. Also remember, if you join this batch, you are going to begin your new year with confidence, with strategies for you to profit, which will definitely give you make you a profitable and proficient trader so reach out to me for more details if you go to the home page of this youtube channel in the about section of this channel just click the about tab you will find the description and there you will find my email ids and telegram where you can connect with me and we can have a discussion on your mentorship also you can be part of my signals channel where trading as per the signals definitely you can profit now ng on the early charts it is achieved 6.2 which is 6.6 .6, which is a major resistance and on the early chart it is showing a reversal again but 6.2 is going to give it a very good support 6.18 below that certainly you can expect another round of drop which might try to fill this gap again till towards 6.1 levels and yes only bearish confirmation is below 6 and 5.9 levels the directional movement is bearish the stochastic is at high is now looking downwards the MACD is bearish it is trying to convert the RSI is trading near to the bottom there and if you look at the 2 hour charts and if you look at the 2 hour charts see higher lows and possibly it is looking forward to get some support here at 6.22 levels or 6.2 levels below that only you can expect a little drop you can expect 6.15 6.1 levels to 6.1 definitely a good support 6 0.02 definitely the next good support the direction moment moderately bearish stock stochastic has seen the bottom looking upward but then again it can dump from here the MACD is divergent and bearish on the sell side the RSI is looking downwards indicating little bearishness and now look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts it is showing some classical moves it is still in a consolidation phase why do I say it is a consolidation look at this and look at this higher lows lower highs a breakout is awaited any breakout beyond 6.6 .6 should be considered a very good move any breakdown below six dollar level should be considered a bearish indication below six certainly it can give you very strong bearish movement you have to be cautious there right now for the day you can find out any buy entries only above 6.32 levels below six point beyond 6.32 you can expect 6.38 and then 6.5 levels to be seen so beyond 6.32 stay long on ng till the time it trades below 6.32 uh, you can take a sell entries at 6.22 and then expect that we are looking forward to 6.18 6.1 and below levels so 6.22 to 6.32 do not take any position the directional movement is moderately bullish the stock I stick is trading at bottom looking upwards from here the MACD is bearish and trying to converge crossover for a sell entry the RSI is trading flat and if you look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts again consolidating here it is clearly showing a phase of consolidation for ng here see lower highs higher lows and now any breakout beyond 6.6 .6, consider that as a bullish breakout and then ng may fly up from there at the same time any breakdown below six dollar levels consider that as a bearish breakdown and we are looking forward to further drop the stock stick is looking downward direction movement not indicative of anything the MACD is trying to cross over for a sell the RSI is trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts same here on the daily charts higher lows lower highs yes in this zone you have to be very very careful that is 6 to 6.6 for the day you can sell at 6.22 uh, and buy at 6.32 but remember below 6.22 there are supports at 6.18 6.14 and then 6.1 6.02 levels you can you have to trade with the trading stop loss till the time it trades above 6 you can expect a possible bounce back on the upside beyond 6.32 you can expect 6.38 6.4 
6.42 and then 6.5, 6.6 levels to be seen there. So take your trades accordingly. I will still expect it to rise a little beyond 6.6. .6, it is going to fly high for 7, 7.2 levels. So take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss. Trade with the trading stop loss. Join my mentorship badge. Join my signals channel. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.